In today's episode of Minecraft PE, we are actually going to go and attempt to survive 100 days, guys, in Minecraft survival and see how good we can get. Hopefully, we can get some diamond armor, maybe even netherite, boys. But without further ado, let's actually go and create this world and let's get started. But guys, the challenge starts now. All right, so when I actually firstly did go and spawn into Minecraft Bedrock Edition, boys, I just wanted to go and actually take a look at the surroundings over here, you know, see what we got. First thing I found was actually just this random well, which was really insane, and we actually found ourselves a lava pit, which is actually really, really good of a spawn point, if you guys didn't know, because, like, you know, when you're speedrunning and stuff, you do need water and lava. Anyway, I wasn't speedrunning for this video, but if I was speedrunning, like, bro, we would have had some record times. Basically, this was the best spawn you could have gotten in Minecraft, guys, but now Next up over here, I just went ahead and started mining some wood because I thought that was actually the best thing to do. I mean, how else am I supposed to get a pickaxe, guys? So we actually went ahead and did that. And then I found this insane cave, guys. And it was actually like loaded literally with iron and everything. This was crazy. So we just went ahead and started to mine it, boys. Let's actually go and finish that off. There we go. And just enough for a pickaxe, what I like to see. So yeah, next up, I made the pickaxe. We mined it. Did a bit more mining. Went ahead and grabbed myself some coal over here as well. Had a close death with this skeleton since I'm a noob in Minecraft. Almost died again from some falling sand, but then we actually did end up surviving in one and a half hearts, and I go back to mining, guys. At this point over here in the game, like, we literally have only been in here for, like, four or five minutes, and I've already got myself 20 plus iron and awesome pickaxe, and we were having a really good start. Next up, I went and smelted the iron, and then I just kept mining some iron over here, and then by accident, I may have actually just died. Guys, I was actually already dead 17 minutes into the video like you guys are you kidding me? Like, this is just terrible. But trust me, it gets better. I went back to the area where we died. I grabbed my tools and everything, and then we actually set off to go find some other stuff that wasn't underground. But I almost died again grabbing my stuff, guys. So I was at half a heart once again. And then I just kept walking, and then the corner of my eye, no joke, guys, I actually went ahead and found a full village. And this village actually ended up being the craziest village you guys have ever seen. No lie. And then I went and found a blacksmith, but there wasn't just one. There was two blacksmiths guys like the chance of this actually spawning is like literally less than one percent like that is actually so rare next up i made a temporary setup for our base and then we started to go and actually grab some wood and in those very woods i actually ended up finding a wolf and we went ahead and tamed it you guys already know for our pet it was awesome this day had definitely been going a lot better than the last day where we ended up dying and had so much bad stuff happening to us this day was actually really good and life at this point in minecraft was actually going really really insane i actually ended up finding a horse and we tamed it i made like a whole entire like place for it and everything and life at this point in minecraft was actually going really really insane i then just went ahead and kept smelting my ores you know what i'm saying cooked some more food and this is where it gets bad guys i literally attempted to go ahead and build a portal basically with like the lava and stuff from the blacksmith but there wasn't enough lava so i only built like half the portal it was just straight up embarrassing but at least we did like you know get a bit of a start i actually decided to go and build a bridge across the lake to go and actually go to this like mining pit that was like across the other side of the lake so yeah we did that and then that day was actually getting kind of rainy so yeah i just decided to go and actually grab some trees we didn't really do much except for really finish the bridge that was about it and then we cooked some more food etc but then once the bridge was done i actually ended up going ahead and mining into it guys and here is where it gets bad again well it's actually good for a while like we find gold we find so much stuff i even found lapis i found multiple pits of lava like this was just a really really good area boys but basically don't ask me how this happened but somehow my pickaxe broke i couldn't find a way out so i was just digging straight up with my hands for like literally five minutes almost and then a bunch of gravel or something came on me. I don't even know what happened, but basically we died. So I attempted to go back and grab all our stuff, but we actually ended up dying again. And then after that, I basically ended up grabbing the stuff which we died from like just that time. But the time before, we actually ended up losing all of that stuff. And I actually never ended up even finding that stuff to this day. But I wasn't gonna go and quit there, even though I was literally poor and I had lost everything in the game. Like, I am joking, we lost everything. Except for just a bit of tools, I swear, guys. But we ended up going and actually making a pretty good comeback. We actually went and did mining for a pretty long time. We ended up finding some diamonds. And then we headed back to the base. 
And then on my way back to the house, we actually went ahead and did some mining once again for some wood because you can never have enough wood. But I actually ended up having to go for supper and basically I was like AFK for about an hour and I just pressed like the exit button on my keyboard thinking like, oh, be good because on Minecraft Java Edition, like if you press the exit button, you're basically good and it like pauses the game and everything. But I guess on Minecraft Bedrock, it's actually a little bit different. And when you press the exit button, it actually doesn't pause your game. You actually have to press save and quit and I did didn't know about that so when i actually came back to my computer we had basically lost everything guys and we were back at square one again through already tons of days in this challenge so i actually ended up going mining for the next two and a half hours guys and we actually went ahead and got even richer than i was before it took a while but we did it and i would say it was definitely worth it like we had so much diamonds we had so much iron we had stacks of everything and life was just going good so then i decided to go ahead and actually start building my house now that I actually ended up having ores and everything so that's what we did And then next up, ladies and gentlemen, I actually wanted to go and finish the nether portal since I only like finished half of it. So I actually crafted a bunch of buckets and I was actually setting out to find some lava, but I didn't end up finding any. But I ended up finding a ruined portal, so I just crafted a diamond pickaxe and mined the obsidian from that. I then decided to go to the nether to actually go ahead and start mining over here so we could actually go and get some blackstone for the house floor. And basically, if you get blackstone and you craft like four of it, you can go and get smooth stone. So I actually ended up using that. I thought it was a really cool block and, you know, something different than quartz because I usually do quartz. So this is like a bit of an opposite thing. All right, and then I died again, but it's all good because I actually ended up getting this stuff back. And then I actually crafted it into a smooth texture and then I actually started to go and place it in for the floor at our base. And then I may have actually died again. I'm sorry guys, I'm pretty much a noob at this point. I even decided to go and put blackstone for the whole entire roof as well too, which I thought looked really cool. And then I decided to go and actually put in some windows and actually furnish the whole entire house guys. And then I added in some more aesthetic features to the outside of the house to go make it look a lot cooler. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty cool. We had iron doors and everything. I colored the beds to my favorite color, which was blue. We ended up making an outside dock area slash balcony with like some campfires, etc. Just like a little place to fish. And then I decided to go and actually plant some trees in as well to go ahead and give us a bit more privacy. And I decided to go and actually use the shovel to actually go make like a path. I literally just figured this out in minecraft as well too and this was actually the first time i ended up making a path in minecraft and it actually turned out pretty good and then i actually tried to go in all of the village houses and craft as much beds as i could by killing sheep, guys because if you don't know the best way to find netherites in minecraft is to go and actually grab a bed because if you actually go and like try to sleep in the nether it basically doesn't work and blows up so if I grab like a bunch of beds, basically we can actually have this really good mining strategy where we can actually just go ahead and blow up stuff guys. It was going to be super good. We had I think like 10 plus beds, like it was crazy. So easy netherite. I literally then decided to make an art display at the base in the middle of a thunderstorm. I actually found another horse, the horse died. And then I also found another horse and I tamed it and everything. And then we also crafted like an enchanting table, went hunting for some more sugar cane, and then I actually started my own sugar cane farm. So then we can start crafting some bookshelves for the enchanting table, which I was actually hoping to get fortune in so we could get more diamonds and then we could turn it into netherite once we obviously went to the nether. And then last Lastly, I went ahead and actually made a whole entire shelter as well for the horses, which I thought was really cool. And then I actually logged off for the day and that was it. And then the next morning, I actually ended up logging back on. But before I did, I actually ended up updating my Minecraft to a different version. And when I logged back on, all my worlds were gone. I'm not even clickbaiting either, guys. The whole world was gone. Everything was gone. And rest in peace. Like, I think everybody at this point thinks like I'm joking and this is like clickbait or something or I don't know. But I swear, guys, this is actually 
actually real and I actually ended up losing the whole world after spending about 8 hours straight playing Minecraft. Here's a reenactment of my reaction. Basically, I was done, boys. Like, it was just so sad. So, yeah, that is actually gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not doing this again. Unless this gets, like, a bunch of likes or something, maybe I'll do it again. But, yo, this was actually the craziest experience, I would say, in my life of playing Minecraft. Because we actually ended up doing, like, so well in, like, you know, only eight hours time. Like, we had so much stuff. I also don't even know if I had this recorded in the video. But I was actually grabbing, like, a whole chest of beds. Like, I think we had about like 10 or 20 beds literally ready to go to the nether boys to go ahead and grab some netherite and i actually had full diamond basically everything like it was actually crazy ladies and gentlemen and i just had to update my game rest in peace and also just in case anybody's wondering like i've already looked into it there's no way i can recover it like it's officially gone guys but uh anyway thank you so much for watching this video make sure you do like comment and subscribe for more i hope you guys like to have enjoyed this journey and i'll catch you guys in my next one peace out everyone